The Ugly Animal Preservation Society came about because a couple of years ago, at the end of one of my talks, I kept championing to the crowd the fact that we are so mammal-centric. We are boring when it comes to the animals that we are interested in. And the vast majority of life out there is dull and ugly. The vast majority is insects, and the vast majority is stuff in the sea that we don't even see. If you have an interest in conservation, you're basically condemning yourself to be depressed for the rest of your life. Every day you open up the newspaper and you see another species endangered or extinct. So we have a bunch of comedians who dabble in science, or sometimes scientists who dabble in comedy, and each one comes along to champion their personal favourite ugly endangered species. At the end of each night we have a vote from the audience to decide what is going to be that region's ugly mascot. So, so far we've done it in London and Brighton, and we're in Edinburgh tonight, and we're going to be going to Newcastle at some stage, Bristol, Cheltenham, uh, York, and, and just taking it on the road, getting different acts in each time to try and figure out what is the ugliest and most endangered species out there. My favourite ugly animal is the Canadian blue-grey tail dropper slug and it's phenomenal because for a start it's smurf blue which is amazing but as well as that if you scare it its bum drops off and that's actually a good evolutionary survival strategy it's leaving behind a meal so if some predator is pursuing it it stops and eats the tail while it can leg it or you know leg it as much as a slug can. At the science festival at the moment I'm here for the next three days I'm also going to be doing my History of Medicine Panto. It's called Dr. Death and the Medieval Medicine Show. And it's kind of a light-hearted look at the deadly and horrible history of medicine, perfect for children and other childish people. If you want to find out more about the ugly animals, go to uglyanimalsock.com or you can follow us on Twitter at uglyanimal. Um, if you want to learn more about the sort of things I'm doing around the place, go to www.readysteadyscience.com.